Welcome to Make Your Day Count. My name is Lindsay Roberts, and have I got a story for you. Five R's. R, 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 R. Review, restart, rebuild, renew, and restore. Review, restart, rebuild, renew, and restore. What does that mean? Well, last night, I'm going to say not even last night. It was kind of middle of the night, more close to like four or five in the morning. The Lord woke me up. I was not really sleeping well last night. And he said, type this. And I started typing into my phone. And then I came up with review, restart, rebuild, renew, restore. I said, okay, Lord, I love those. That's a lot of R's. What are you talking about? And the Lord began to say, this is what he wants to do. You know, the Bible says, behold, I'll do a new thing. We're going to talk about that. And it's Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. If you have your Bible or some kind of your device, I use my phone to go ahead and look up Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. I really believe something has happened inside of me. There's been something very exciting happening in our ministry. And I happen to think there's something very exciting happening in the world because I, I'm not the kind of person to constantly be listening to the news, 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 listen to the news. Occasionally I skim the news and I look at the news and I kind of look at just headlines of the news and I'm not how I would say about myself, I'm not obsessed with the news. But I'm completely aware that we are going into a time and a season that looks to me an awful lot like the book of Revelation. And God said, renew. I like all those re and I'll show you why in a minute. Restart, rebuild, renew. Uh, review, restart, rebuild, renew, and restore. Re means do over. Do it again, start over. Are you going through something today, anything, that you wished you could have hit that restart button? Boom, hit that button again. Boom, started this over. If I had this to do all over again, would I do it the same or would I hit that restart button? And the Lord was showing me how from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is a book of do-overs. I never thought about it like that. And God was showing me how we can start our life starting today. And I'll show you scripturally, His mercies are new every morning. Wow, do I ever like that, need it, and really respond to that. I'm going to tell you why. I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. I had a big conversation with a person that I've known about 40 years. And a certain name came up. And that name that came up had really hurt both of us in an unusual way. And mine was more personal. His was more economical. But overall, it was just, I'm going to say not a pleasant person. I'm going to just say it. And I realized at that conversation, I was not completely over it. I hadn't completely given it to the Lord. I hadn't really released it and let it go. And I repent, there's another R-E word, and I repented before the Lord. Now, when I went to bed last, last night, I began to repent to the Lord. And when I began to repent to the Lord, He began to give me these words. And I just thought it was interesting. Now, as you know, when I say we're taping this program, you might have already heard this because I will have already put this up on probably Facebook or something because the moment it started happening, I started writing. And when I started writing, I couldn't wait to share this because you know what I wanted? Here's the R-E word. I wanted to release this off of my spirit. If there was any kind of animosity, anxiety, well, it wasn't anxiety, it was more animosity. If there was any kind of bitterness, I had to release it in order to have that clean slate for God to work with me and in me and through me. I had to let it go. And I let it go and I really repented before the Lord. Sometimes in order to get that clean slate where we get to review, restart, rebuild, renew and restore, woohoo, hallelujah. Sometimes we have to repent. Sometimes we have to release. And sometimes we even have to release ourselves and say, self, it's okay. Something happened, but it's okay. We can start over. We can review, restart, rebuild, renew, and restore according to the plan, the purpose of God. So I want to talk about that today. If you have gone through anything recently, or in my case, it was a couple years ago, and I didn't even realize how it was still kind of hanging out there. 
If you've gone through that and you want to say, Lord, let's review, restart, rebuild, renew, and most of all, restore. Let's do that today and let's hit that restart button and see what God can do. I believe that God has shown me something. And you know, since I've done it, it's been exciting. It has been exciting. I was up late last night, middle of the night, praising the Lord. I was praising the Lord because something was lifted from me. I don't want to go into uh, the next year. I don't want to go into the next week. Respectfully speaking, I don't want to go into the next day carrying a burden that I shouldn't be carrying, carrying maybe a bitterness that I shouldn't be carrying, carrying baggage that I shouldn't be carrying. This is the day the Lord has made. I want to rejoice woohoo, and be glad in it. So let's get started in just a minute. I pray it's a blessing. Brand new project in our ministry. I am so excited about global ministry outreach, global ministry outreach, because it has created a global ministry center, GMC, a global ministry center. Because of the global ministry outreach that we've been doing over the last couple years, we have needed something to grow and grow and grow and we've outgrown and we are coming up with a brand new building called the Global Ministry Center. And because of it, I wanna to talk to you about this right here, right here. It's called a Worthy Box. I have put a lot of time and effort with our staff putting a lot of time and effort thinking about you and that you are worthy of all God has for you. You are worthy of all God has for you. So today, wow, have I got a lot to talk about. So let's get started and I'll be right back. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. Right here, right now, the Lord's going to shower His blessing down. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. Well, you've been praying and you've been praying for a mighty work to be done. And you've been asking, but you've been wondering if your breakthrough will ever come, well, there is nothing too impossible that my God cannot do. So step right up and take your place, because there's a blessing waiting just for you. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. Right now, the Lord's going to shower His blessings down. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. Well, if you're sick in your body, well, I know a God who can heal. And if you need some provision, I know a God who will. And if you're weak and you you need some strength to get you through that situation you're in. Step right up and take your place because your miracle's about to begin. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. Sings down, you're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. Right here, right now, the Lord's gonna shower his blessings down. Get ready. Get ready, get ready for your miracle. Get ready, get ready, get ready for your miracle. You're in the right place at the right time if you need a miracle. If you need a miracle, I said, now. if you need a miracle.
together we can share the gospel to the ends of the earth. We want to give you an inspiring gift to show our appreciation as a thank you for making an investment into the new Richard Roberts Global Ministry Center. For your gift of $125 or more, Lindsay will send you this worthy box, which includes the etched metal Great Commission bookmark, Lindsay's Discover Your True Worth book, a beautiful pink worthy leather journal, a gold worthy bar necklace, and this mini pearl finish cross ornament. These items are a thank you for giving into Richard Roberts Ministries for this new season of growth and expansion. Call right now, 1-844-828-1412 to give your gift of $125 or more, or go online, richardroberts.org slash bookstore. Okay, I don't usually do things quite as specific as I'm doing with this box, but I'm so excited to do this today because I'm excited about a global ministry center. You know, I am just, I wish I could explain this, but I'm just tickled about it for this reason. We have been ministering all over the world. Thank you, technology. Some technology, some people might not, you know, think the world of, and sometimes technology can be abused, but I'll tell you what, thank God for the opportunity through technology to minister around the globe. And this last year, Richard, I wrote this down, Richard has been able to minister to 20,000 pastors in different outreaches. Now keep in mind 20,000 pastors who spread the gospel in different places. Think about spreading the gospel in Pakistan. Think about spreading the gospel in India. Think about spreading the gospel here and spreading the gospel there. And we have had so many different opportunities to go into the world through, the, uh, through, through technology. Not only Richard has been traveling, but also through technology and taking the gospel into the world. And as we take them to pastors, think about the multiplication system. Richard's got it in his head to reach a hundred thousand pastors within the next year. One hundred thousand pastors. Why? Because if those pastors reach ten people, that's a million. If they reach a hundred, that's ten million. And you just keep on putting zeros on top of that, and we are able to spread the gospel to the nations of the earth. And we're so excited about it. So excited that we are building a global ministry center. Now, technology is different than just, we are, we are staffing it, we are building it, places for offices, et cetera. But in this day and age, with changing technology as fast as it is, we have, I'm gonna say it, I hope I say this correctly that you understand. I'm 66 years old, so I'm gonna say it the best way I know. I think this is maybe once in my lifetime opportunity to really go out into all the nations in certain ways through certain technologies in the way God leads us to go and where he leads us to go because certain doors that used to be wide open are now start, starting to shut. Certain doors that were shut tight are opening. And I think it's that window of opportunity that we have to jump in and take the gospel to the places we are allowed to take the gospel and really build the kingdom of God. As a result of that, I sat with our, our, our staff, we did something, and I called it the Worthy Book. Why would you call it that? Ladies, this program is primarily uh, uh, designed for ladies. The book that I wrote called Discover Your True Worth was primarily designed for women. And I believe women being that, you know, people say we're the emotional side. Yes, I believe that's true. I believe that the way I am built is more emotional than the way Richard is built. And I believe God gave me that as a sensitivity to respond in a different way that Richard responds. So iron sharpens iron. He responds one way, I respond another way. And the two of us have the opportunity to sharpen each other, so to speak. I put this together because first of all, I want women to know that they are worthy of the shed blood of Jesus Christ. When he went to the cross, it doesn't matter what your past was. That's why we're going to talk about review, restart, rebuild, renew, and restore. That's why I can't get, I just, I'm so excited about putting those five R's together with this box. It's got a worthy necklace. It's got a lovely little bookmark. It's got a journal. It's, well, let me move it a little bit. Worthy. 
It's got a beautiful, it's this cross, of course, here we go again with Mike Letney because he is just such an amazing designer. This can be used in many different ways, but um, Mike did the designs on this and I'm so grateful. He's a jeweler and a sculptor, uh, an artist here in town. And then the Discover Your True Worth book, why? Because I happen to believe, I'm gonna say it the way I think I can say it with every fiber of my soul, that we women, Men and women in the last days don't have to live according to, oh my word, I'm so afraid. Oh my word, I'm living in fear. Oh my word, I'm panicking. Oh this, oh that. Yes, I started this program saying I'm aware of the news. Yes, I'm aware of technology. Yes, I'm aware of some of the drawbacks of the ways of the world. Yes, I've seen things I thought I'd never see on television before. But having said that, I believe we can be a, total light in the kingdom of God to, in a sense, let our light shine in the kingdom of darkness. Yes, I believe Satan walks about, as the Bible says, as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Yes, I believe that. And I believe we are in the book of Revelation looking at things like the start of the last days. Yes, I do believe that. But I also believe this is my opportunity to show the worthiness of God, not only to people, but the worthiness of God through people to show how much God loves us in every way. So I'm going to let you see a little bit of, we put together kind of a commercial, so to speak, about this. And for your Seed Faith gift into this ministry, I think, what is it, Brian, like $120, $140, $125, I wasn't even close. $125 Seed Faith gift into this ministry. This whole package, the worthy box, I'm calling it, we want to send it to you. Why am I passionate about that right now? You know, it's like double because I love the products in here. I love feeling like I'm worthy as a child of Christ. I love that I can discover my true worth and believe that I am what God called me to believe. I believe that as I write down in my journal, the Bible says, write the vision down, make it plain. As I do that, God can give me dreams, which he has, and that's what we're going to talk about in a minute. He can give me visions. He can give me new ideas, and he can give me new opportunities, no matter what the news says, no matter what the snooze says, no matter what anything says. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, and I am worthy to do all God's called me to do, to receive all God's called me to receive, and to be all God's called me to be. And that I believe goes for you too. So it's the Worthy Box. It's got that gorgeous necklace. I love it. Bookmark. It's kind of like a metal bookmark. The I'm going to call it an ornament because I think you can hang it on your Christmas tree, but you know what? I'd put it where I can see it all the time. Worthy Journal and Discover Your True Worth, my most recent book. Now, having said that, if you have a pencil and paper, I want you to write five things down. Review, restart, rebuild, renew, restore. This is what the Lord gave me in a dream. I, was, I wasn't totally sound asleep, but I was tossing and turning because I had repented over something because I felt like in my heart I was carrying something about a person who had really done me wrong. And I had a conversation not knowing how much wrong that same person had done a friend of mine. And I'm like, when we talked about it, I'm like, man, I thought he was done doing that to people, but apparently not. And instead of letting it go, it hurt me and I realized I hadn't let it go. There is a time in our lives when we have to review, restart, rebuild, renew, and even repent so that God can restore us. Review means a formal assessment or examination of something with the possibility or intention of instituting a change. I had to review what I was doing in order to make a change. First, uh, Second Corinthians 13, five, that change says, examine yourself and see if you are in faith. I wasn't in faith. I was in a bad attitude and I had to repent. Second Corinthians 13, five, examine yourself. Make sure you're in faith. Second, restart means to start again. Ha! Praise the Lord for that. Isaiah 43, 18, 19, behold, I'll new, do a new thing. I'll make a way in your wilderness and rivers in your desert. Behold, I'll do a new thing. That is God hitting the restart button for you. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. Rebuild. Jeremiah 31, 4 through 14. I will rebuild you. Wow. Wow. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jeremiah. Oh my goodness. 30, I love the book of Jeremiah. 31, 4 through 14. The rebuilding of lives. I will rebuild you. It means build something again that has been damaged or destroyed. Have you been damaged or destroyed? 
Jeremiah 31, 4 through 14, I will rebuild you. Not just the situation, oh, praise the Lord, but I will rebuild you. Renew means resume after interruptions. I have had some things interrupt the flow of the things I was doing in my life and I wanted to scream, cry, get upset, maybe even hold a grudge. And God had to renew my thinking. And it means resume after interruptions. I had to repent as, about this whole situation. Lamentations 3, oh, this is a jump for joy, you guys. His mercies are new every morning. I repented and I believe I got the mercy of God. And last, restore. I will restore what the locust has, I will restore, this is the best part, I will restore the years that the locust, one translation I think says canker worm, it's talking about a plague. I will restore the years that the plague has eaten. You know, we've seen a lot of things since 2020, 2019, words like COVID-19. We've seen a lot of things and we're about to start a new calendar year, 2023, and yet we're still talking about it. But God said, I'll restore. I will restore the years that the locust has eaten. Um, and it means to bring back a previous right, a custom, a situation, return something or someone to a condition or place or position. Do you need to be restored today? I will restore. That's what God said. Thought, talk about three important words. I will restore. Jeremiah 2, I'm sorry, I said Jeremiah. It's Joel 2.25. I will restore the years. I will restore. What a day. What a day to review, restart, rebuild, renew, and watch God restore. That is my prayer for you today from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Take an assessment. I will review what the Lord is telling me. Change if necessary. Examine yourself. See if you're in faith. Begin to restart. Start again. Expect that you can start again. Oh, you don't know how old I am. I'm 66. We can start again. God said, I will rebuild. Go to the book of Jeremiah where he said, I will rebuild. I, I'll have to tear some things down and build some things back up. But God said, I'll rebuild. When God renews, making things new. I think that's a renew. That's a new thing. Behold, I'll do a new thing. And when God restores, wahoo. I think that's greater than anything I could possibly imagine restoring for myself when God restores. I pray for you today as you review, restart, rebuild, renew, and allow God to restore. I pray that anything that Satan has stolen from you, your health, your finances, marriage, relationships, jobs, whatever it is. And don't forget, repent. I had to do that. You may not have to. I had to. And that's when the Lord gave me this. I pray for God to minister a new thing to you today from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and making all things new. His mercies are new every morning. And I pray for you today that his mercies come into your life today in every area in Jesus name. Amen, amen and amen. Stay tuned. I'm walking over to the cross. Together we can share the gospel to the ends of the earth. We want to give you an inspiring gift to show our appreciation as a thank you for making an investment into the new Richard Roberts Global Ministry Center. For your gift of $125 or more, Lindsay will send you this worthy box, which includes the etched metal Great Commission bookmark, Lindsay's Discover Your True Worth book, a beautiful pink worthy leather journal, a gold worthy bar necklace, and this mini pearl finish cross ornament. These items are a thank you for giving into Richard Roberts Ministries for this new season of growth and expansion. Call right now, 1-844-828-1412 to give your gift of $125 or more, or go online, richardroberts.org slash bookstore. You know, when I look at that worthy box and I think that all that Jesus did for us on the cross, you're worthy to receive all that God has for you. We're worthy to do all God's called us to do. And you know, that worthy box was created for a couple of reasons. Number one, for you to know that you are worth more than you think. You are worth the price that Jesus paid when he went to the cross for you.
And the other reason that we've created it is because we are so excited about doing a global ministry center so we can take that healing power of Jesus Christ to the nations of the earth. I'm so excited about taking God's healing power, especially to pastors who can reach other pastors. You know, one of the, one of the last things Richard's daddy said to him, not only about prophesying a couple of years earlier, but one of the last things he said to Richard before he went on to heaven was a reminder that in Richard's senior years, he would be a minister to ministers. And that means taking the gospel of Jesus Christ to ministers so they can minister all around the world. And that's part of the vision of the Global Ministry Center. And I'm so excited about it, why? So we can tell people and show people that no matter what day and age we're in, the shed blood of Jesus when he went to the cross is not only as important as it was back then, but as important as it will ever be in all of our lives. This doesn't have a time limit on it. There's no expiration date on the cross. What Jesus did on the cross 2000 years ago is still working today to show people that they're worthy of all he did when he shed his blood. He shed his blood to show us healing, salvation, wholeness. In fact, the word he was using was sozo, S-O-Z-O, the totality of healing in your life. So I pray for the totality of healing in your life. If you wanna give us your prayer requests as these people have done, go to richardroberts.org slash the cross, richardroberts.org slash the cross. Give us your prayer requests. We'll be happy to, to put them on the cross because I believe that miracles happen because of the cross. Miracles happen because of the cross. No expiration date, no time limit. What Jesus did on the cross then, he's still doing today. I pray for you to be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and every spot in between for God to minister healing to you, for you to be part of God's global outreach, to minister to you in every area of your life. You may not be in Pakistan, some of the places we're going, or India. You may be sitting just a few miles from me, but I believe God's healing power is for you. And I pray that that outreach is for you today in every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Very special thanks to the peacemakers for being a part of this program today. And I wanna encourage you today, make it count for the kingdom of God.